a white eye weeps onto a Ukrainian flag emblazoned with a broken heart and bullet casings, drawing our gaze to the upper left of a monumental canvas. Symbolism and surrealism collide as distressed and distorted cubist figures, one brandishing an enormous assault rifle that commands the center of the boldly colored painting, expose the dread and terror of war. Building on Picasso's 1937 Any War masterpiece, 10-year-old Andres Valencia contemplates the horrors of Russian President Vladimir Putin's bloodthirsty invasion of Ukraine. His mother, Elsa Valencia, said Andres stayed home from school on March 25, a month and a day after the invasion started, because he felt ill. February 24 marked the escalation of the bitter, simmering eight-year Russo-Ukrainian war, and hurled it into the global spotlight. It was March 25. I know the date because when he finished sketching it he wrote the date and signed the back of the canvas, so we wouldn't forget. Andres was in his bedroom as I was watching and listening to the news about the war in Ukraine, Elsa Valencia said. He was very quiet and I walked into his room to make sure he was okay. When I walked in I saw a small 12 inch by 9 inch canvas sketched and colored with marker. I asked him about the painting. He said it was the invasion of Ukraine. I was absolutely moved by the painting. I sat there analyzing it. I turned to him and I asked him if he wanted a big canvas. He turned to me and asked if Putin would do something to him. I said no, he won't do anything to you. Why do you think he would do something to you? I asked him. He said, because when Picasso painted Guernica, Franco was not happy about it and they wanted to hurt Picasso. Andres Valencia walked down to the living room in his San Diego home, and in nine minutes, sketched the final painting on a large canvas, Elsa Valencia said. When he finished I sat there, 